My name is Tim Short. I am 52 years old, born October 1961. For as long as I remember, I've suffered with knee pains, left knee pains. I think in about 1983, I had a meniscal operation. 2012, I had arthroscopy. Still no relief, really. Um, as you can see, my gait is terrible. I mean, it's complete pain, but mainly on the outside of the knee, although the arthritis is on the inside of the knee. It's the pain at night is coming down the outside and under the kneecap. Initially offered a complete knee replacement by the um, consultant I saw first off. Didn't seem to be the way to go for me. I didn't really want to be doing that. It seemed a bit extreme for a man of my age. So I sought a second um, opinion and I was offered two options. Um, one was a upper tibial osteotomy and the other was a partial knee uh, replacement. It seems that the osteotomy is what is the best one to go for. That's what I'm going for on Friday, four, four days' time. It's nine o'clock Friday, the 25th of April, uh, 2014. I'm in Cavett Ward in Landau Hospital in Cardiff. Just waiting around, I'm all marked up, done my, given my blood, just talked about the anaesthetics that we're going to have pre-admissions, all the different form formalities have to be done before they go in here and um, make my leg better. I can't wait. I'm a little bit nervous. I must admit it's a big operation and it's strange the prospect of being sort of uh, immobile for a few months. But a uh, matter of time and things should be, should be good. I'm quite excited about the change and things are getting better. It is done. Didn't take long. Came round gently. Uh, morphine to keep the pain down. Absolutely no pain at all. It's fantastic. I haven't seen a doctor yet. I don't know exactly what's going to happen after that. But um, I missed food, so there was no food at uh, for me. All I got was a cheese nugget sandwich last night, which is you can be basically twelve hours of hiccups. All good. All good. The um, pre. Operation care was fantastic, really good, really professional. Felt a little bit in free fall once I got back into the ward because they're dealing with so many people at once, they don't know what's going on, and they're not assigned to a particular um, consultant, you know, they're just doing firefighting basically. Anyway, next thing, home, see how, see how I go. Mm, it's good. Now Monday after the operation, had the operation on the Friday. Two days feeling a bit rough. It's an operation, they're sawing your leg in half, you know, it's going to be a little bit sore. But I'm feeling so much better today, my appetite's back. Bowel movements are going, bladder's working. Just feel good, feel really good about the whole thing really. Back at home, just going to spend a, sort of the next six weeks or so healing. But my leg's looking straighter. My energy's back, I feel, I feel you know, I've got over the operation. I think that's the, the main thing that sort of clouds your vision over any um, procedure is, is the actual getting over the being put to sleep you know, the anaesthesia and all that sort of thing. You can see that you know it's a little bit swollen but you know they're using the right uh, combination of drugs it should keep things down. Slept well last night, slept well the night before, um, certainly slept better sleeps than before the operation where I was getting the night pains which was just unbearable. Absolutely life's better. I'm a happy man. So it's now Wednesday the 30th of May at the operation on Friday the 25th, so it's five days after. I'm feeling good, feeling, um, not much pain, I'm sleeping really well. Uh, the night pains are gone, which is the main thing, That's what's, that was what was making my life misery. I feel like I'm in a, in a, in a much better place than I was even a week ago. Uh, who knows, I haven't been able to start walking on, on the leg yet. I can hobble around with crutches, uh, 10 kilograms on, on the foot, it's like walking on eggshells, I've been told. Sometimes it looks worse. Yeah. And then when it's off, it looks better. It's because it spreads. Next time, it's going to hurt. 
Look at that, that yeah. This is a surprise for you every time, isn't it? You yeah, don't know what you're gonna get. Like, I know, pass the parcel. So you've been able to move around, can you put weight on it? Yeah, what I'm have they said? Ten kilograms. Oh right. So it's like walking on eggs, isn't it? So it often looks worse than it actually ends up being once it's all off. Hmm. Um, leg just feels better, you know. I look at it with pride. Until I really start walking, I don't know, do I? But I mean, at the moment, it feels really positive. I'm sat here in bed. I'm healing. I've got my office here. I'm doing all the work that I need to do. I'm recording bits of music with my with the guitars and spirits are, are fine. And I think you know that's the start of 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 he starting to heal properly, isn't it? Well, there's a lesson learned, isn't there? I was thinking, ah, I'm feeling good, you know, not much pain. I just don't need to take these painkillers all the time. So I sort of laid off on them a bit yesterday. And uh, of course, the only reason I wasn't feeling any pain was because I was taking painkillers. And I wasn't in bad pain, but I got really uncomfortable. and woke up this morning feeling probably the worst I felt so far. Just sort of the leg was screaming at me, saying, yeah, treating me bad, look after me a bit better. So uh, this is the Wednesday. The 1st of May, it's May Day. Um, so I'm celebrating the holiday by lying horizontal for a bit, just taking it very easy, back on the painkillers, and my advice is just, yeah, use them. You know, it's, you're not going to end up a junkie or anything, but it just it certainly makes you feel a little bit easier with uh, with what's going on. Uh, yeah, generally all right. It's just so hard to commit yourself to doing nothing, to becoming um, bed, bed. Yeah, I try to move around a bit, but... I, just feel at risk sometimes moving around the crutches just you know you it's all it takes is a slight slip and then you're going to jam that leg and it's not going to not, it's not going to do you any good so i feel like i've gone back a couple of days but it serves me right i should have uh, listened to the doctors and say keep taking taking the painkillers i know my man is not adverse to drugs yeah so yeah well i don't know what's happening it's sort of a little bit more swollen down there there's this new bruising underneath the ankle I've rung the district nurse, she's going to come and have a look at it. It could be nothing, but you just don't know, so it's best to check. And um, I rang uh, the secretary for uh, Chris Wilson, and she said she passed a message on to him. He's obviously in surgery today, it's a week later from the surgery Friday, so he's doing his, his work. So I don't want to hassle him, but at the same time I do want to make sure that everything's alright. Really good though, she said I'll ask him and she'll bring me back later today, so we'll know later. That's the answer, apparently. Elevation. Of, uh, this is a, it's a happy face here. I've just... Um, Chris Wilson was, was passing and actually called in to have a look at, uh, at, at, the, at the injury, which is fantastic. I mean, really, really put my mind at rest. Uh, the bruising is just due to the blood seeping out the end of the, the cut bone. It's perfectly normal. It has to go somewhere, so it just makes its way out and causes swelling. I've got to rest it. There's no, you know, I've been moving around a bit. He said you've got to have it high elevation, sort of maybe two or three pillows, put it up, and that will work. He said it all looks really good. You know, they've got good movement, and I've just feeling you know, I feel better. Just put your mind at rest. It's a bank holiday, you see, and I was thinking, all oh, that three days, it could only get worse, and you just worry, don't you? There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. But um, that's just good information to take take with ourselves. You know that it's you know you've got to rest it, and the swelling is and the numbness is all perfectly normal, and I don't need to worry. And thank you, Chris, for calling by. That was beyond the call of duty. What a man! Sunday, the fourth of May, uh, nine days after the operation. Still sort of um, immobile. I can't really put any weight on the foot. Feeling all right though. Spirits are good. Got to keep on the painkillers. That's for certain. Reading lots, playing lots of music. It's just a question of dealing with the boredom, really. I mean, it's really hard work on the partner. Ali, my partner, is doing amazing. He's running around looking after me and doing all the other things she normally has to do in the world. Um, stitches out tomorrow. That'd be good to get that loose. I can have a good, good sort of wash. I'm quite looking forward to that. Don't feel like I've been out. I've been out the front door for a week, over a week. That's the longest I've ever stayed in one place ever. I think since maybe since the womb. I do remember being told that. Um, you know, we're going to break your leg, you're not going to thank us for, for what we're doing. And, uh, you know, I think that really helped being told that because, you know, I was prepared for an extended period of um, having a leg broken. So, back holiday Monday, the 5th of May. Um, another beautiful day. I've made it downstairs. I actually got some clothes on today, which makes a difference. Um, legs, okay, still throbbing, still swollen a bit, but coping. 
um, waiting for the district nurse to come and she's going to take the stitches out today so um, that should lighten things up a little bit. It's yeah, amazing I can't feel anything there, it's completely numb. That's the thing isn't it after. Is that, was it because it cuts a nerve or something is it? Yeah it goes through your uh, nerve endings. When they knit back together then you'll have your feet. Right, this might just be a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. If you want me to stop at all, just let me know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfect, well done you. Brilliant. Does it hurt at all? It's fine. There are that's nice and clean. Um, took the dressing off today and it just feels fine really. Clip clipping around. It's windy, cold, not very nice outside. So I'm mainly in the house, resting the foot as much as possible because it's the ankle that's giving me trouble. Legs no problem at all. That just looks good and seems like the job's done. I've just got to wait for the ankle swelling to go down. Apparently that's part of what happens. Okay, three weeks since the operation. Things are good. Three weeks to the day actually, and I'm out and uh, in the car, feeling good. My foot's down. I've, you know, a lot of the time I've been having to keep it up, but the foot's down. It's just lovely to be out. Things going on, and uh, there's a world outside my bedroom. Uh, I've seen the doctor this week, so I should get some news on whether I can put a bit more weight on the on the foot or not. But otherwise, feeling very good. Okay, it's a full month now since the operation and I've seen Dr. Wilson and physiotherapist Gareth this week and I've been told I can start putting full weight back onto my left leg. And the x-rays and everything all came out very well looking at the leg and the alignment is there straight down from my hip through my knee down to my knee, leg and the sort of that line of alignment has now moved as 50-50 straight down the middle of the knee so it's a really successful. Well, five weeks after the operation, I got up, I walked here, feet are fine. Came here on the, uh, still came here on the um, clutches, but I'm at five weeks and I'm recording with a band. Could take weight on one leg really well, still using two clutches, but that's not bad, is it? Alright, so I've been clipping around on one crutch for, I suppose, a week now after the physiotherapist said it was good, and I had this dream last night, and it was thought I was walking around. I thought, that's a strange kind of dream. But then I actually just had a go. And um, here we are. I'm walking. Got to watch out for dog poo on the grass. That'd be bad. But it's absolutely amazing. Proper Lazarus moment. I'm walking around. It's amazing. It's done. There we are. It's the 14th of June. Uh, I had the operation on the 25th of April. I'm fit and able. I can walk free of sticks. I don't want to walk too far, but it feels really good. I've got a very nice, neat scar. She's um, clear of scabs and I even managed to go up for a swim in the Brackens yesterday. I'm back and normal. I should be starting work in two weeks time. So Chris, thank you. Upper tibial osteotomy did the job for me. Thank you very much. Well, there we are then. It's the 18th of June. I uh, had the operation 25th of April. So it's under eight weeks, just about eight, eight weeks, and I'm back on the bike. Physiotherapists are really pleased with the way things have developed. So it's a really good job. Uh, I just need to develop the muscles, and they say as long as I take it easy and don't go on to um, up any hills or anything like that, that I can cycle. And here I am cycling, and I'm out with the dog again. And I tell you what, I've missed this so much. <laughs>